Calamity of Scylla. This is an event that you get a lot of stuff. Now, granted, you have to make two purchases first. You have to purchase this first tier here, which is going to be about $5. And then you have to purchase the next one in here, which is going to be $15. And it will unlock some of the rewards in here for you once you've achieved certain level. But in the very early stage, you are going to be able to get, once you've unlocked this, you're going to be able to get the Asim Rich data card. And as we know, as Sim Rich, you cannot get it from summoning crews. You can only obtain a Sim Rich through that purchase event that you have to grind. Okay, so when we look into the crew overview in here, my current a Sim Rich needs to be upgraded soon. I'm already ranked 13, will be ranked 14. So I've got one more a Sim Rich left to work on. Isn't that crazy? I'll be able to max out a Zim Rich in the next Galaxy Star. I'm going ham for it. So this event is really vital for players who are going to be working on a Zim Rich. But also you're going to be getting some amazing rewards as well. Because in the ranking rewards, you can get some frames and avatars. That's, that's cool. But the biggest thing that you can get is some outfitting blueprint chest, which is going to help you to gear up your legendary weapons or maybe defense. I, I suggest work on weapons rather than defense. And then in the cross nebula ranking rewards, you're going to get this skin. So if you've used them already in Cosmic Ocean, you can get them again. And plus solid 20 blueprint gear that you can use to make your account stronger. Now, granted that I just said earlier, you need to make purchase. This is not for free to play. Free to play that does not spend $0, this is not for you. This is for players who is willing to spend $20 for this event because you can grind this out without even per making purchases. So for whales, it's definitely gonna be easy for them to grind out and rank up to the top but here's one thing i want to tell you you don't have to focus on ranking into the top 10 or something you can just focus on unlocking everything in here if you spend 20 bucks and get to level 40 because that alone you get everything you know the value of you know 20 dollars. you get it back from all of this you get the data cards you get some federation credits you will get you know more of the missiles in here that helps you to invest you will get some of these um you know, Cabrat Stock Solution and more of the Outfitting Blueprint Chest. So what are some ways for you to do this? This should be relatively easy. Actually, we have some in here that we have to collect because um, we have done a little bit of relics. So this is a perfect time, you know, launch a lot of relics, get that going. So like here, I'm going to launch another relic for like five minutes in here. Have everybody to join. Got to grind it out a little bit. And then um, I, I really like to do is stack it up before I actually use it, before I start shooting. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna shoot it. There we go. And I'm gonna make this purchase because I know I want this. There we go, we're making that purchase. We're gonna try to rank up a little bit in here. Now, again, there is a way for you to um, purchase you know, the missiles in here. So by going to the specials in here, you can of course make some purchase. It really depends on your budget. So, you know, spend wisely, spend as you enjoy in the game. Just remember when you spend into the game, you are, you know, helping the developers by doing that and you're helping the game to grow further as well. So I will probably make a few purchases from that, but for the most part, you know, I'm just going to try to grind it out. And hell, I mean, you get some core module chips here. You're going to get some Corium eventually, some speed ups as well some um, crew XP, more car module chips. Actually, not a lot of car module chips, but you know, you get some Corium. Uh, the biggest thing in here is the Cabaret Stock Solution and then crew XP. And of course, really, I'm doing this to at least target all the Asim Rich data card because I want to get them. And eventually you'll get more of this, you know, blueprint stuff as well. And really the big kicker is, you know, like I said, these Cabaret Stock Solution, they help a lot. And and making these gears. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Hopefully this is helpful. I hope that you guys can finish it. And uh, let me know, because in the previous events, you know, we have done this. What was the highest level you've reached in the Calamity of Scylla?